Hi everybody, it's Mrs Leany from Nursery. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. When we come back from half term, we're going to be learning all about the celebration of Bonfire Night and we're going to be doing lots of fun activities. But before we come back, I have a lovely surprise for you all. I'm going to read a story all about Bonfire Night and it's coming up next. So let me see your good sitting and good listening so we can listen to the story. Enjoy! This story is called Sparks in the Sky. It was early evening and Bo was very excited. She was going to her first bonfire night celebration with Mum, Dad, Gran and her big brother Leo. Everyone put on their soft woolly hats and thick cosy scarves. As they entered the park, Bo could see the bonfire from high up on her dad's shoulders. It didn't look how she imagined it though. They'll light it later when it's dark, dad explained. Once they had walked through the gates, Bo could smell the delicious smoky scent of barbecue in the air. Everyone's tummies were rumbling loudly. Can we get a hot dog, mum? Please, Bo asked eagerly. Leo took a bite of his hot dog and a large splodge of ketchup dripped down and splattered on his favourite trainers. He looked even grumpier than usual. After they'd finished their hot dogs, it was time for the fairground rides. Everything was so colourful and noisy. Bo couldn't decide what to go on first. Leo wanted to ride the roller coaster, but Bo grabbed his hand and dragged him towards the carousel. Bo grinned and chose the golden horse with the silver saddle, and Leo helped her to climb on. Everyone gathered around the bonfire as the guy was placed on top, and the fire was lit. Slowly the fire began to grow, making the wood crackle and spit. Small sparks rose gently into the air and disappeared. Bo could feel the heat from the fire on her cheeks. Mum bought sparklers and told Leo and Bo to put their gloves on. Carefully, Mum lit the sparklers. Bo twirled her hand excitedly, making swirling patterns in the air and writing her name. It was so much fun watching the golden sparkles appear and then disappear. Bo looked at Leo and noticed his sparkler hadn't lit. Once her sparkler was finished, she placed it into the bucket of sand and asked Mum for a new one. She handed it to Leo and asked Mum to light it. Leo twirled his sparkler slowly and Bo thought she almost saw him smile. Finally, it was time to see some fireworks. Bo watched as the Catherine wheel was nailed to the wooden post. Once lit, it twinkled and flickered as it spun faster and faster, becoming a dazzling blur. Everyone waited as the rockets were lit one at a time. The man made sure to stand well back between lighting each one. The rockets raced into the air and erupted with a bang in a shower of sparks. The best fireworks had been saved for the finale. They shot up into the air, exploding one after the other. Some crackled, some crashed loudly, while others popped. The sparks shot in all directions, painting multicoloured patterns on the night sky. Bo looked at Leo. He was staring up at the fireworks and she saw that he was finally smiling. She gently took his hand and they stood together as the last firework dashed into the sky with a whoosh. I love bonfire night, said Bo giddily. Can we do this every day? I'm afraid you'll have to wait until the 5th of November next year, said Leo, chuckling as they walked home. The end. Oh, what a good story. I'm so glad that Bo's brother Leo was starting to cheer up at the end with the fireworks. 
this story has given me an idea. I think I'm going to go and make my own pretend firework rocket. I'll see if I can find some things around the house to put together to make my firework rocket. I might go and look in the recycling bin to see if there's any junk art I can use. Be right back. A few minutes later. Hi, I'm back. And I was able to find some things in my recycling bin to make my pretend firework rocket with. Do you want to see? So I was able to find old bits of card that I could use to cut out to make the shape of my rocket and then I just coloured it in. Also, a really important bit, I put my name on it because I'm going to bring this rocket into nursery so you can all see. And that made me think, I wonder if all you could have a go at making your own firework rocket. Do you think you could? Once you're finished making your firework rocket, you could bring it into nursery and we can put it all up on a big firework display board for everybody to see. If you are going to make your firework rocket, make sure that you use all things around the house that your parent says is okay to use. And if you're going to cut out or do anything like that, Please get your parent or care to help you do this. I want you all to be safe and have fun when you're making your firework rocket. I can't wait to see all your firework rockets whenever you bring them into nursery. I hope you enjoy your half term and I'll see you really, really soon.